Hi, everybody. Welcome to the training webinar, How to Find More Drivers, Save on Advertising, and Market More Effectively. My name is Leah Kelly, and today I'm here with Kim Taken and Libby Crane. Kim is our Director of Client Services with 17 years of experience in the transportation industry. She's worked in recruiting, processing, HR, and retention. And Libby is our marketing services guru. She's on the MarTech team, and she helps clients every day to maximize their driver marketing. So they are both really great re resources to lean on and ask any questions you may have, whether it's on this call or, or after this call. So, uh, today we're going to talk through and train you on the majority of the marketing tools we have available free and paid to help you do things like find more drivers in less time and get free full applications and stay on top of every lead all on the same platform you use to recruit, onboard, and train drivers, as well as to manage all your post-hire safety needs. So we're actually gonna cover a lot today. I love this agenda because it actually tells you what you're gonna get out of it rather than just the names of the tools, which might not mean a whole lot to you. So it really shows you immediately how you're gonna benefit. Um, we're gonna talk to you just about ways big and small to help you up your driver marketing game to make it not only easier for you, but more effective too. So before I pass it over to Kim, I just want to do a couple of little housekeeping items. So just know that I am going to send a recording of this webinar over as well as the PDF. And then I'm going to also send a few other links to blogs and cut sheets that just go a little bit deeper into these marketing solutions if you just like something to read. Uh, you can expect to receive, you know, the recording and the PDF and all the additional reading tomorrow. They'll come in two separate emails, one from the GoToWebinar we'll, and then one from me. And then also, if you want to ask any questions at any point, please do, do so by using the text box in your GoToWebinar panel. We'll try to get to those as we move along, but if we're not able to cover them, we'll get to them at the end of the webinar in the question and answer session. And so let's get started. Kim. Great, well, thank you everybody for joining us today. We know you guys have busy schedules and we appreciate your time sitting with us and going through these things. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. We're going to start off with the items that are free with your service. So these are things that you'll see in your dashboard. A lot of you, some of these tools though may be assigned to just the primary users on the account. So if you're not seeing these as we talk through them, you might want to get with the primary on the account to see if it's something that they would want you to have access to. So first of all, we're going to talk about the QR code tool. And you guys, I got to be honest, when I heard about the QR code tool, I was like, who uses QR codes today? But it turns out that it's a super popular thing. And a lot of people like using these QR codes. So people are putting them on big things like trucks. They're putting them on marketing materials that they're passing out at truck schools. They're putting it in all kinds of places, business cards, all different things. So this little um, tool will give you the ability to get these QR codes to place them in your materials, some of those which I just described. So it is a free service. It's a free uh, tool that you'll find in your focus tab on your home page. So there's a bunch of different focus widgets that we have and one of them happens to be the QR code tool. So it's a free, easy way to get these little codes and put them on your marketing materials so you can get candidates to a landing page application or your Intella app in an easy, quick link from your phone. So they just take a picture of that QR code and it'll get them right to the application or the landing page app. Um, basically, it's really easy to set up. You just come into this tool and you can decide how big you want the QR code to be. There'll be an option to select size so you have small, medium, large, and extra large. And you can choose whether you want to drive that traffic to your Intella app or a landing page app and use it in several different types of ways. If people find that that's an easy path to get the driver to the application, then this is a great tool to use to do that. Leah, we can move forward to the next slide. Perfect. So calls view is another focus widget that you might have access to. Now this is used if you're um, using an integration with a vendor like CallSource, Marchex, or Converza for call tracking. So if you're setting up 800 numbers with those vendors to be able to track call volumes and tie them back to sources, 
um, then we have those integrations available where those vendors can pass those numbers into 10th Street and then we can associate those um, in origins um, for your reporting. And you can also see in the screenshot that's over to the top left, you can see how it can look in the system. It can show you the number that the applicant dialed to um, call your company. So you can track that number back to the source. You can also track it to the subject. So if that subject record existed in the system, we can tie that number to the subject record and then you'll have that tracking. It also shows up in the communications view. So you can tie all of your messaging, whether it's email, pulse message, texts, or um, calls. You could, that can all be tied together and show you a nice history of all the transactions that have been made with that subject through all those various avenues. So it'll match your inbound and outbound calls and it helps you really tie everything together so you can see what sources are producing calls for you. So if you have any integrations with those vendors that I mentioned and it's something that you would be interested in setting up if you don't already have it set up, um, you can reach out to your account manager and they can assist you with that and get you started. All right, moving on to the Facebook leads tool. So a lot of companies have um, individual Facebook leads pages set up that they're using today. And sometimes it's not so fun to try to manage those leads outside of the system and then try to get the data into the system to be able to work the applicant through the process. So the Facebook leads tool is a free tool that we can give you access to. So you can tie those Facebook leads pages into your 10 street system. So basically the leads flow right from Facebook into your 10 street and then we can route them appropriately and your recruiters and processors can work those subjects through the pipeline and you're not having to do any additional data entry outside of the system or use a paid vendor to try to um, handle that for you. So with access to the Facebook leads tools, you can connect those pages and then set up the routing and everything so it flows right into the system. And it makes it super easy to work those leads and you get them really quickly and easily. Um, Intella at mobile, I know lots of you have probably seen that this exists, but every person who has an account also has the ability to get an Intella app mobile short form. So you have this free short form that you can use in instances where you may not want to capture a full application. Sometimes people like to use the shorter lead forms on job board sites or someplace just to get the activity started with the subject. Um, so it's really easy to use and if you want to play with it a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like you can just take your regular intella app link and kind of towards the end of the link there's a slash c slash which you see down at the bottom right screen of the screen just change that c to an m and that'll convert your application link to the short version application so you can test it out and see how it works. Another super cool thing about the Intella mobile version, of course, it is mobile friendly. So it'll work on uh, devices just like the Intella app. It's mobile friendly for any type of mobile device, whether it's a phone, um, a tablet or anything, a computer, it'll work on any of those items. But the cool thing about the mobile is that once you complete a lead form, if we see that we have information on file for the subject when they complete that short form, we're gonna ask them if they wanna upgrade from the short form to the full application. So if they decide that they wanna upgrade, then you're gonna get a full application instead of the short form. So you can see on the screen there, what the prompt is. So if we recognize that we have information that they have stored in the system, we're gonna ask them if they want to upgrade and then they can fill out that information and move forward and upgrade to the full and submit that rather than submitting the short form. They could also choose to skip the promotion to the full application and then continue to submit the short form. So there's two avenues to go there, but it is um, 
pretty compelling to be able to present a shorter form and turn out at the end to get a full application. So it's a pretty cool feature and it gives you some flexibility to present a short form in instances where you may want to just get a lead to get the guy in the door and get his application started. Now, all of these things all tie together because we're trying to get all this tracking in place. So I want them to kind of step back for a second and just make sure that everybody knows that you can include referrer codes when you're putting the links out in your advertising. The referrer codes are super important because it'll give you the ability to tie that application back to the source where you placed your ad. So referrer codes can be added to the end of the IntelliApp links, whether it's the short version or the full version. Um, your account manager can help show you how to do that. But basically, you know, in instances where you want to see where did this guy originate from, the referrer codes are going to be your best way to tie the traffic back to where they came from. And this includes your website too. So when you, if you have a special careers page on your website and you want to be able to see how many applicants are coming from your career site, you can create a referrer code in that link that's out on your career site could have a referrer code like website or career site or something like that. So you can basically track that how much application volume is coming from your internal career site, as well as job boards or you know Indeed or wherever that you're placing ads to get drivers. You definitely want to make sure that you're using referrer codes. It's super important and it will help you down the line to determine what sources are producing applicants and hires for you. We also have the ability to add tracking scripts. So you'll hear um, mostly a lot from Google and Indeed, they will ask you to place tracking scripts on your Intel app. And usually they'll supply you with a code and if you pass that code along to us, we can install that on the thank you page of your application. And that gives the advertiser the ability to track specific analytics that are outside of 10 Street. Um, which can be helpful in trying to determine what sources are producing for you. So those two ways, if you have questions about how to create for referrer recodes, you can reach out to your account manager and they can help you with that. And again, with the tracking scripts, your vendor will give you those and you can pass them along to your account manager and we can install them on our side. Driver Pulse app. So I know lots of people are probably familiar with the name here, but in case you aren't, we do have an app out on the um, app stores that drivers can download and they can get access to view carriers that are hiring and they can apply right from there. They can also complete documents and send documents from their phone. So if you're using the forms engine or if you're using document uploader and you need copies of things like CDLs, all of those things can be done from the Driver Pulse app. And drivers also get a visibility to see where they are in the process with a carrier. They can message back and forth through the app with their recruiters and processors um, and kind of get an overall snapshot of where they are in the process. Um, it's really easy to complete, like uh, when you're logged into the system, you can create like a profile for your company and then that profile is visible to the driver when they're in the app and they can read about your company, about the positions that you have available in active jobs, they would be able to see that and basically um, improve the way they interact with you using the app. So that is a free option as well. So if you're not using that, I encourage you to take a look at that and set up some active jobs in the system as well as a profile so that drivers can see your company and see what you have to offer. Okay, thank you so much, Kim. Um, I am going to pass it over to Libby. And while we're doing that, we're going to answer a couple of questions that have come in. Let's see. First, let me pass it over. Uh, okay, whoops.
Let me try again, Libby. Do you see that on your screen that says that I'm trying to share yes. or give control? You got it? I'm just trying to change it to my second screen so my main screen doesn't show. And now you should see chain, chain, chain of chain marketing tools. I do. Perfect. So, Are you going to throw some questions? Yeah, let's answer some questions real quick while you're getting everything set up. Um, is the calls view the same as Origins? Um, I'll take that one. Uh, no, it is not. So with calls view, you're seeing, and um, there's a couple of places you can see that, but in the focus tab where we saw the screenshot from, it's showing which calls have come in and it gives more information if we can attach it to a subject, um, less information if we can't, but it does also give you the ability to make notes and other things. If you have the, the full version of Origins, we are then able to take those phone numbers and we call them a contact. And we're able to track how many calls, aka how many contacts you've had in a month. And the, the really nifty thing is um, with Origins, we hold on to that record for 30 days. Now, the record stays other places longer than 30 days. But we hold on to that record, the phone call, for 30 days. And what happens is we check IntelliApps as they hit your dashboard. And we see if the phone number on the IntelliApps matches any of the phone numbers that did the dialing. And then we can say, hey, this um, out of eight phone calls, four of them converted to an Intelli app. And so then we can track it on from there. So it's pretty powerful if you do, if you do have different phone numbers for your different job boards. Cool, thank you. Uh, does the application automatically show, this is a question about the short app. Does it automatically show the mobile version on a phone or should we use the mobile URL if we think the driver will be viewing on their phone? So it doesn't matter which application you use, either one is gonna be optimized for a phone if they're on a phone when they're entering the URL. So it just depends on whether you're intending to get the full app or the short version app as far as which uh, link to show the driver. But either one that they click on, if they're on a mobile device or a tablet, it's gonna, it's gonna shrink to the page to fit the device that they're on essentially. Yeah, there's always been a little confusion around there because I think it's because of the name, but it, it does not matter. They're both just made for mobile, so they will both present on mobile. Uh, can you change the questions on a, on a short form? The, you, the standard um, short form that comes with your service is kind of a predefined set of questions, but if you want something that's different from that, we can create like a short form, a different short form that would um, work similarly. Um, we would just call it like an abbreviated Intella app and it would be stripped down and include the questions that you want. Um, and it could be different than the standard version, but it would require um, some customization and some time to an effort put towards building exactly what you want. So I think, yeah, just, just talk to your account manager about what you're looking for and they can get you a, a better uh, I want a better answer on that. And then this question will take us right into what is, is, is a perfect uh, transition. So how can we update the company info on driver pulse? I'm signed up as a driver, but I can't figure out how to log in as an admin. So I think people have this, this oh. problem too. So this is perfect for Libby. You can just, you can just take us away. Yeah. Yeah, so just to answer that really quickly, you don't update your company profile using the Pulse app. That's how drivers, um, that's the, the, the app for drivers, you know, they can go in and communicate with you, look for jobs, etc. If you want to update the company profile, it's actually going to be in your job store. And I'll show you where that is in a second, because we're talking about the chain, 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 chain of marketing tools. Um, I'm going to be talking about the um, the paid versions of a lot of these marketing tools. Um, Kim was talking about a lot of the things that you can get for free 99. I'm a big fan of free 99. Um, but I'm talking about more of the things that are a little bit more robust. So let's start with everyone's favorite job store so job store also with active jobs this is a one-stop shop for getting leads um, if you have an active job it will post a pulse for free and we have a lot of vendors i'm going to talk about those three in a second but first let me go in and show you active jobs so this is our demo account um, it's you know 
We have at Job Store right here. You can also access it through your Tools tab. And again, it's going to have that grocery store little cart buggy, wherever you are in the country, whatever you want to call it. That's just the icon we have right there. But to answer the first question, company information, if you click on this tab right here, this is where you can change what your company profile says in Pulse. And so you can put some generic information here. Um, if you post multiple jobs, you probably want to say something that's more generic for the company. If you have a little bit of writer's block, no big deal. You can view our example and copy that to the editor and just kind of tweak that around. But this is where you would update any of that information. Now, job store is nothing without active jobs. So the very first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to come in and create an active job. Um, if you don't know how to do this at all, we do have a monthly webinar, Job Store 101, which is all about creating active jobs, the ins and outs of active jobs as well. So I'll just pop in here and show you one thing just to explain what it is, but an active job, you're going to have a location set for those active jobs. And the big thing that most people, if they do get anything wrong with location sets, is that the location set is not the route. The location set is where you're willing to hire from. So this is going to be your hiring area. But once you have an active job, which an active job would be one that you'd come in, you'd give it a name, you tell us which application it should go along to, then we will give you some job requirements, job descriptions, all that fun stuff. The nice thing is, instead of reaching out to, um, to Indeed, and telling them all your jobs, and reaching out to a Trucker's Report and telling them all your jobs, and reaching out to, gosh, I don't know, Craigslist and telling them all your jobs. You just set up one job here in 10th Street. You set up your active job, and then you pop over to Job Store to put that job on different merchants. So we have different merchants here, Pulse Match, FatJ.com, Jobs and Trucks, Indeed. You'll see some familiar, some familiar names down here. Um, but this is where you can come in and place your active job. Now, the three I wanted to talk about are Pulse Match, Facebook, and Craigslist. These are some of our three favorites that have been getting a lot of traction recently. Facebook is interesting because we've actually taken Facebook in-house. Let me come down here to Facebook. We've taken Facebook in-house and we will actually place the job for you. We will look at different analytics. We'll also make sure to monitor that comment section because I'm sure you guys are aware that sometimes people just like to let all their opinions be known. So we'll also monitor that for you and get your information that way. The other really cool thing that we have is with Craigslist. So with Craigslist, you typically, you know, pay per posting, different merchants, I mean, different areas had different pricing models. But with us, you can come in and you have some more, um, you have some more options. So let's say you have a job, you always know you're going to need to hire company drivers and you know it's just a revolving door. You can come in here and say that, hey, every Sunday, every Tuesday, and every Friday, I want to post a fresh version of my job to Craigslist. So you can come in here and choose this. Or if you just have an immediate need, if you're like, oh, this one guy, he's retiring soon or somebody's going on maternity leave soon and I just need to like get someone to fill that seat, you can go to a calendar selector and select specific days. Now, today's the second to last of the month, so I don't have a lot of options, but I can change my run dates right here to the next month and now I can choose anything I want. So that's really, really nice to be able to be this specific with Craigslist. And what's really nice about this is if you want it to post continuously or on multiple days, you don't have to log into Craigslist to do this. You just tell us which jobs to post and we take care of it for you. Again, we cover merchants very, very um, a, a lot in detail in our Job Store 201 webinar, which we do once a month. So if you are wanting to learn more, dig deeper into um, a different active jobs or job store, um, how to post, how to create an active job, you should be on the lookout for those webinars or go to our events page on tinstreet.com. The other one I want to talk about really quickly is Pulse Match. So Pulse Match is our sponsored job on the Pulse app. So you can create active jobs and we will post those to Pulse for you. 
Um, but if you want to be specific with who can apply, are they in your hiring area? Do they meet your um, your um, minimum experience? Are they the type of driver you want? Are you looking for owner operators and getting a lot of company drivers? A full snatch might be for you. You can put those filters in your active jobs. And when drivers come into the Pulse app, they're first going to be shown which jobs they actually match. When drivers go in Pulse, they can set up a filter for who, what kind of driver they are. And then we only show them um, for, you know, on the sponsor part, um, jobs that meet their matches. So that's only the only time you're going to pay for a, an application through Pulse is if you do Pulse match. All those other ones are freebies, but um, we can't guarantee that they meet your filters because they didn't go through the filters. Now, if this seems like a whole bunch for you guys, don't have any fear. We have a concierge service. Now, this concierge service is going to be your free guide to set your jobs. And you heard that right. It's free. You're still going to put up your own money to, um, to put these ads out. But our concierge team is has their finger on the pulse on which job boards through our vendors are, you know, they're getting traction from based on what type of job you're looking for. They're able to look at your job and your ad placement and make sure that, you know, you're marketing yourself correctly, putting that best foot forward, um, making sure that, you know, all the all the, the attributions get done. And we, they just really make sure that everything's taken care of. Um, our guys don't get any kind of... Um, uh, they don't work on commission, so they're really the whole job is just to make sure that you guys are, 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 are you know, doing well with your jobs. So that is something that if you're ever interested, reach out to your advisor or your account manager, and we will get you hooked up with our concierge service. Again, this one is a freebie if you just need someone else to help you out with it. Now, we do have landing pages. This was mentioned a little bit earlier, but our landing pages can be found in job stores. And what's nice is that we create a landing page for every active job you have. And we have a generic one for just your company. Our free ones are semi-customizable, but you are able to pay for a landing page, and that's completely customizable. But let's take a peek on where you might see those landing pages. Again, in the job store. If you go all the way over to the right for Application Center, you're going to see all the different applications you have that you can start using. So, you know, this is our demo account. So we have a lot of different Intelli apps here. And then we have these lead applications. That's the mobile that Kim was talking about earlier. But down here at the bottom, these are our landing pages. And as you can see, everything that says active job is a landing page based off that active job. When I view the page, I'm going to get the information, the job requirements, the job description for that specific active job. So if you are posting something specifically, you're like, oh, I need to hire only company drivers and company drivers have this benefit, you can put all that in an active job and have a free landing page created for you. And you're able to upload your own image in the back. So if you want to, you know, we do have a rolling um, about 10 images of different trucks on the background. If you want to put in a picture of your own truck, if you want to put in a picture of your own driver, you can drop in your background images right here. And first of all, we'll start cycling through those instead of cycling through ours. And again, this one's $3.99, but it is in the job store. Now, drip campaign. So let's say you get all these leads that come in. The concierge team has done a great job. You've got a fresh flood of leads. And now your recruiters are struggling to make contact with all these people or see which ones are the more energized of all the applicants. A drip campaign or a job board scrubber is going to be your best friend. So job board scrubber, that's what I would like to consider a hot lead campaign. And just to explain what these are, these are email or text message campaigns that reach out to your drivers once they hit specific statuses that you configure with the MarTech team. Again, MarTech, the mark, uh, marketing technology team. So with Job Board Scrubber, we are going after those hot leads. Typically, we email four times in the first seven days. Um, and, you know, once we get a lead in, we will start emailing them. And we'll continue emailing them as long as they stay in a status you've told us that you want us to email. or until they don't, until they fill out an Intelli app. Once they fill out an Intelli app, they don't get the job board scrubber anymore. 
And a common question I get with job board scrubber is, well, what do I need to click to have it go for this driver? Or what do I need to do to, to kick it off when I get a lead in? And that's the great part. You don't have to do anything where you're going to go after all of your new and reapplies as long as they don't have an Intelli app. And we're going to keep on going after them until a first week is done or until they've done an actual Intelli app, which would be the best part. And that's going to leave your recruiters open. So at the beginning of their day, they can come in, log in at 10th Street and look at who are the new Intelli app applicants, the people who have actually gone through the effort to go from a lead to a full application because they're serious about your job. They can start their day with those applicants first and then spend the rest of the time chasing up on those leads. Um, reaching out to people that have stalled out, but that way they know who is excited to start talking to you guys and focus their time on them. That really, really helps. Now, a drip campaign. A drip campaign is something where these applicants have stalled out a little bit longer. Maybe they fill out an Intelli app, but never really reached out to you after they, you know, they cleared all your processes, or maybe, you know, they just ran cold. And a drip campaign, we're really trying to mine your database. So any tags, any, um, any work list, any, you know, anything that you want to tell us to say, hey, if they have this specific information, I want to reach out to them, that's a drip campaign. And just in case you're curious, if you go to your search tab and you have all of this applicant search here and you have your tag search open, we can use pretty much anything on this page to build out a drip campaign. You can say, hey, I want to reach out to people in a specific state or collection of states. And I only want to reach out to them if they had a not qualified reason of um, work history, but I want to wait to make sure they've been in that tag for six months. So hopefully they have a better work history. We can be that specific with it. So if you come to us with a problem, we will help you find a solution for email. And it's not only just to reach out and get new applicants. I have a lot of clients that um, do all of their, a lot of orientation information through drip campaigns. Once they set a client to an orientation date, we email out that information. Um, and we can say, hey, can't wait to see you. You'll be here. You'll be there. And we can actually pull the tag information into the email itself. So if you want to say, hey, I can't wait to see you on 7-1-2001, we can put that in the email. So it's pretty, pretty fun. It's pretty specific as well. Now, some of you guys might have been doing bulk messaging and might be wondering if it's the same thing. If you haven't done bulk messaging, you should. It's really cool. It's also free. But here's some differences between bulk messaging and drip. I already mentioned one of them. Bulk messaging is free for you guys. Um, if you do texting, there is a two cents um, to send a text message. So that's free-ish. Um, and a drip campaign is going to have a monthly cost. But another way to think about this with your bulk messaging is that when you do a bulk message, that's going to queue up all of the people that you said, hey, they should get a bulk message. And it's going to send that bulk message right then. Versus drip, it's more as the applicant fits into your, um, your population. They can move in of a drip campaign. They can move out of a drip campaign. And a really easy way to remember that, or at least it makes sense to me, is a roller coaster versus a Ferris wheel. Roller coaster for the bulk messaging, meaning you queue everyone up in line, you load them in on the coaster, you let that thing go, and fingers crossed, everyone finishes the ride at the same time. So they're going to go through that whole ride together, finish up, no one's jumping off the coaster. Versus a Ferris wheel, you can have people entering the Ferris wheel while some people are halfway through the ride. They can exit when they want to, go on a second ride if they need to, or if they just sweet talk the carny to let them ride a second time. But it's much more specific to the needs of that driver. And so that's kind of the two differences there if you have a question on that. Now, Origins. Origins is my fave. Um, it's the main thing I work with at 10th Street, and it is your lead applicant tracker. So, you know, I'm, and this is, you know, a lot of you guys, when I start talking about this, you're probably going to understand what I'm saying. But, you know, when you hire a driver, they've probably done a lead application, then an Intelli app. Then something was wrong on the Intelli app. So your recruiter has to go in there, make an update, send a signature app out so the, so the uh, driver can okay all the changes, update, signature, update, signature. And then at the end of the month, when you look at all your hires, you might see that a lot of them have a source of update or signature or Intelli app. 
when you know that that's not really how you paid for that driver to come in. But a lot of the reports that we have at 10th Street are showing the most recent, the most up-to-date information to the driver. And that's really important, too. You want to make sure that everyone's okay for orientation. You want to make sure all your I's are crossed and T's are dotted or flop that around however you feel. Origins actually tracks things a little bit differently. So with Origins, you can go to your Tools tab. And this is going to be the one with the dollar sign. If you don't have it, we can give it to you. Just ask your primary to say, hey, can you ask 10th Street to give me origin? And we do have a free and a, um, a full version of origins. So I'm gonna reload this just so I can get that graph looking pretty nice. But what origins is doing is instead of tracking the person, it actually tracks the lead as it comes in. The really powerful thing origins does is it categorizes what's a lead application, What's a full IntelliApp upgrade? And what is something that just has nothing to do with marketing? For example, you will never see signature or update in Origins because it has nothing to do with what you're spending to bring these drivers in. This first thing we're looking at is called time travel. It's all about volume trending over time. So I can see that my job store Craigslist from Buffalo, I've had 18 leads so far in June, so that's doing pretty well. And my pay-per-click was doing a little bit better throughout the whole month. And I can see all that data here. If I scroll down, I'll even break down my cost per lead application. So we will break down that cost per lead for you. And later on, if you come up to this three white lines, I call it the hamburger button, and it's a slider. You can change your time frame to as far back as you've been with 10th Street. We have data for you. But this funnel stage right here is where I'm gonna to go to next. Lead outs are cool, but looking at your hires is a little bit cooler. So we can click on hires, load this chart, and now we're gonna see where my hired applicant came from. So for example, in June, I had four hired applica applications, and those applications came from ABC Job Board. I had four hired as well from a Craigslist Buffalo ad that I placed through the job store. Um, and I also have nine from pay per click. When I scroll down, I'm also seeing my cost per hire with a weighted average over here. The weighted average is really important because sometimes, unfortunately, you might be paying for a job board for a month, but don't get any hires from that job board for a month. And so it's nice to see over the whole cost, um, over the whole time frame you're looking at what the average or the weighted cost per hire is. Some of you, if you pop into Origins and you're seeing some dollars that don't make any sense, to have no fear, it's monopoly money. Come on into Origin Setup, and you can change your spend right here. If you have our free version of Origins, we do put in a little fake spend for you. That's just so you can see the functionality. You can come in and clear that out to zero, or type in what the actual spend is, and we will help you track that cost per hire. Now, if you have the paid version of Origins, and you haven't looked at Origins Funnel, why not? It's my favorite just to kind of show this one off because it is my favorite view of origins and I have a little bit more time. Um, I'm gonna focus on April. And we're gonna see these are different hiring stages through my hiring process. This is the contacts we talked about earlier, which are your phone calls. So we can track contacts and lead applications. And then after contacts and lead applications, every other bunch of bars, full apps, recruiting, processing, orientation, hired, and terminated, shows me what happened to those specific leads or phone calls that came in that month. I'm gonna pick on the blue bar right here, which is ABC Job Board. Our ABC Job Board brought in six lead applications in the month of April. And of those six applications, we got two of them. Come on, there we go. We got two of them to hit orientation, and for some reason, we hired five. You know, that's just pretty uh, demo da data at work for you guys, but you can see all that information. And also what's super nice nowadays is you can see how many of those hired eventually became terminated pretty quickly after they were hired. You find that you have a pretty big termination bucket. You might want to think about insights, which we will probably talk about on another um, webinar, or you can ask your people about that. 
But let's say, you know, let's say that these numbers are great, but you're not a numbers person and you're not going to be, and you just want to find a way to get some quick raw data. Well, if that's you, you can go to your homepage and go to your focus tab. It looks like Target. It makes me pretty happy. I want to go to the dollar section right now. Anywho, once this is on here, you might have an origins quick view. This is my favorite view if I'm not talking to a data person about origins. What this view is, it's three months of origins data with showing how many leads you got in that three month time frame and how many of those specific leads converted to a full app and how many of these specific leads converted to a higher with how much you spent on those three months right here and the average cost per hire right here. If you need to get any, any information like conversion rate and you don't want to calculate that yourself, pop up in those details and we'll give you your higher conversion percentage and your full app conversion percentage. You can see which job board is actually converting the most amount of leads for you. Also, which one's doing it at the cheaper price. So yeah, we talked about, you know, you can tie a spin to a collection of leads. That's going to be in the origin setup tab of origins where you, as I said, you can come in here. If the spin is incorrect, you can update that with your origin setup and you can do it for a specific collection of leads. We're also going to be tracking your hires and those milestones, the, the recruiting, orientation, processing, just to see how far your leads are penetrating your hiring cycle based off of job, um, job board. Now, I believe we have a fair bit of time for questions. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, Libby. That was so informative. I love that you went really, you know, into depth there uh, with, the, with the data views. So that was very, very informative. Thanks. Um, yeah, we do have some questions. I, for the, for the concierge service, so, are, is that something that is available for all of the marketing tools or is it just job source, job source specific or how does that, what does that do for Great you? Great question. Yeah, so our concierge team uses the job store to place your ads. So they are able to place your ads on any merchant that's inside our job store. But if they're not inside our job store, I don't believe we're able to place ads there. But our concierge team has been pretty effective, um, you know, with making sure that we put you in the right location for the right market. And so, yes, it is only through the job store, but they're pretty cool with it. Okay, good. Um, I have a couple questions about, um, let's see. Uh, Kim, are you seeing questions? Yeah, I see that there's a couple in here. Um, let me scroll through here. Um, Libby, I don't know if you know or not, but someone is asking if you can customize the color and font on landing pages. No, any customization will have to be through our, um, our paid landing page. Um, the customizations we're allowing on our landing pages right now are the different pictures and then the actual content of what the landing page says with the job description, company profile, company um, job, recommend, uh, job requirements. But anything that's a visual besides the picture, um, that will need to go through a custom landing page. Great. Okay. Uh, what if, you know, I feel like this was a great presentation full of a ton of information and I just really don't know where to get started. Um, I don't know which tools I should use and which ones maybe I should wait and hold off on. Maybe what, is there a good way to get started or how do you, what's, what's your best advice there? Well, a great way to get started is to first of all, identify what your needs are. Right now, are, do you have trouble getting just leads in? Then maybe you might want to start with a call with our job store expert. If you are saying, hey, you know, we have a lot of leads in our database and I just want to see if we can drum up any leads from what we have without spending any more money, then that's probably drip. 
And if you're like, I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm spending money. I don't know what's coming back from that spend. If that's kind of more of your problem, then we should start with origins. But if you just don't know at all, then we can get you talking to a person that can do each of those three products. Um, job store for leads drip for, for managing those leads and origins for seeing how your spend is, is working for you. Yes, great, thank you. So I think, and also remember, I'm gonna send out some more information on these services as well too. So you can have something, just some information to read at your, at your leisure and you always have your account manager and advisor to talk to as well. Uh, how do I reach the concierge service? Great. Um, reach out to your advisor or your account manager and say, hey, I want to be with the concierge tomorrow on a call. We will give you a way to schedule a call to talk to them. All righty. Um, and then can you remind us, maybe you can go back to the PowerPoint, of just which ones are the free services that somebody could just get started with? Yeah. And while she's Ooh, doing that. I yeah, while she's doing that, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, if you can't see all of these tools, it's just because you the, your primary hasn't given you access to them or you're just not a primary. So you can just check with your primary and they should be able to give you access to things like the QR code tool and the Facebook leads. But yeah, let's take a look real quick since we do have some time up the, about the, the free ones. Yeah, yeah. So QR code is going to be free for you guys. You'd be able to download it under the download QR code right here and then place it wherever you'd like. So this QR code is free and you just download it right here in the tool under select a site. Calls view is free on our end, but for you to have the call tracking, you'll have to have a, a relationship with um, a call tracking service. We already have integrations with Marchex, Converza, and Call Source. That is probably not free, but our integration with it is. Facebook leads tool, again, another service that's free on our end, but Facebook is gonna want to pay, uh, get paid a little bit for their ads to go out. Um, so, but this one is free for you guys to connect those in. Make sure if you are the one who is setting up Facebook leads config, that you have admin rights on that business page on Facebook. Without that, it gets a little hairy. So admin rights are very helpful here. And tell you mobile, which is the um, the lead application, that one that's the short question just to get them going with the auto population. This one's free for you guys. Referral codes, free. And please use them often. I love referral codes. They help track things and help make origins work. So referral codes, completely free. And then the Pulse app is free as well. Make sure, I had this come up a little bit ago and I was a little silly, I didn't think of it to begin with, but if you're not seeing things popping up on your Pulse, it might be because you guys have it configured to not show. So I don't see where Pulse is on this demo. Oh, here we go, Pulse Control. So if you see this little heart with Pulse Control, if you want your app to show for free in Pulse, you're gonna to need to make sure that shared company profile and active jobs is turned on. But then yes, you guys can post those jobs, those active jobs for free on poll. Job, so active jobs, you do not pay to put an active job, to, to create an active job. That is completely free. If you wanted to sponsor that active job on a merchant or one of, one of our vendors, that's gonna have a variable price. And again, we cover this in our job store webinar. We do once a month. 101 is all about active jobs. 201 is all about placing those jobs in analytics. But creating an active job is free. What you wanna do with it after you've created it might cost some change. Concierge service, the fact that they are helping you is free but the, the ads they place, you're going to pay for. So their assistance is free. Their assistance is at no extra charge, but they will say, hey, I need X amount of dollars to post this ad on Facebook. I need X amount of dollars to post this ad on Craigslist. Landing pages, if you do our, our um, semi-customizable free landing pages, those are free. Again, you can reach those under the um, applica application center in, in job stores. 
but these guys are free. If you want to change yours, if you want to be in charge of how your landing page looks and we just plop our little question box on there wherever you tell us, that's going to be a, a paid service. But if you're okay with how ours look right now, that is completely free for you guys to copy that link and paste it wherever. And bulk messaging. We didn't get onto this one because we had a huge um, communications webinar a little bit ago. Um, and if you need a, a link to that, let us know. Bulk messaging is free. That's where you can email and um, text people all at once. Be like, hey, I want to reach all of people in California or I want to reach people around this zip code. That's free. But Jobboard Scrubber and Drip, those are paid services. Origin actually has a free version that all um, carriers in Penn Street will have the free version of Origin. If you can't see it, it's just because you're not a primary and we just need primary approval to give you access. And so that is free. If you want to upgrade your service to track more things, have a, a, um, availability to organize Origins as you'd like, um, track those phone calls that we talked about, that is gonna be part of the full upgrade. And so that is the free and paid part of this webinar. Thanks, Libby. You did the whole <laughs> webinar all over again in five minutes. <laughs> so that was great. I really hope that helped. Um, we had a lot of questions about it. So I think that was really great to do that uh, little review at the end. So thank you very much. Um, I think, right, we've got some things to send you guys are going to receive a recording of this and then you'll also receive some additional information about some of these services as well but yeah i hope you do i just wanted to say thank you so very much for everybody who has attended and who everybody who registered um and we appreciate your time like kim said we know you're really busy and i hope that you gained a lot of this of value from this from this time that you spent with us and thank you also to kim and libby for all the work that you did to prepare for this as well. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you again. Bye, everybody. You guys. Bye. <laughs>